Now before I start this video, I'm going to tell you guys that um, I really haven't had my computer lately and that's why I've been making music videos, well, any videos, so I will um, be getting a computer on, you know, the 25th of December and um, I will start making a lot more videos, maybe even on the 25th, but um, I saw you guys really liked my second versus Goku, so I... Um, making those videos, so, um, yeah, um, this is just the intro, and now on to the video. I want to talk about anime games and their future. So, what I really wanted to say about, what I'm, what I'm basically going to do is talk about the pros and cons and what the future will look like when we get my energy games. So I wanted to start off with Naruto Star 4. The first anime game I've ever got. Now when I first played this game, I really loved it. Um it is well probably because it was my first anime game and um I enjoyed Naruto. It was the first anime that me and my brother watched so um I really, there was no way I couldn't have liked this game, so I want to start with the cons first. Um, this game is, this fighting is choppy. I'm sorry to tell you guys this, I know I get hate for it, but the fighting in this game is so choppy because there's only one super move in this game, or an ninjutsu. And that's it. That, that, that was his. That was his ninjutsu right there. We. Uh, <laughs> I mean, there's no way to get combos out of this game unless I want to do that, and maybe do I get that? Like, I, you know, I really don't really know how to do combos in this game. That's probably why I just don't really like it. So that could be just me. But um, the con in this game is well, it's not really. The kind of, it's more uh, just a preference. I like to use Square, and I can tell this is you know this is an older game. So obviously, anime games really were going off the circle train. Like I think even Kakarot right now, um, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot actually does uh, circle. So I mean I don't really care that much about it if I'm using circle or um, Square like I. Um, like yeah, I just I don't really mind it. Um, I guess we can talk about the cons. I mean the pros here. Um, I mean yeah, let's do, let's go ahead and do that. First of all, first pro is that you can use every psychic you have. So you have two, you can use them. Most games right now do not do that. Like Demon Slayer and One Justice Two, I don't really like to see that. To be honest, I. I hate not using these guys. I mean, if you're gonna put them in the game as characters themselves, like, of course, Burning Blood and Peace um, it had its own sidekick, so they weren't even in the game. If you're gonna put them in the game, at least let us use them while we're in game. Not just use them as sidekicks like this. I, I don't wanna use them like that. Like, yeah, you can just get into it. Oh, okay. You can get into their combos like this, but even start in a combo like that. Like that. But it, it just is, it, it sucks. This game really does it well. You can use your people, um, well, you know, your sidekicks, and they all have their own moveset. Like like I said, the downside is that they only have one, but you know, that you get to use their entire moveset. They all have, as you can see, he was, um, I think, a pushback, and or a knockback, and it's really amazing that they have really their own style too. Like obviously, Naruto is gonna fight different than Naruto because he does in the show. So it's actually really cool to see that uh, they're all their own different characters. Another pro would be that you know, this chakra bar and the health bar. I really like the fact that if you can win a game, you can beat a person on 100% no matter what. Now some people might hate that, but Say I beat Sasuke here, I will still end up with full health, he'll have full health. But say he downs me to the yellow bar, 
and he has, um, and he loses, I'll still get the yellow bar, which I don't know why, but I prefer that so much more, instead of just restarting the match, because, you know, it really gives you an upper hand if you're, if you're going to be the winner, you may as well get that upper hand, it kind of feels more realistic as, you know, and it would be, you, you know, you won't restart an entire match when, well, you're fighting a character, so, I just like that more, um, so that's just my personal opinion, again, and, um, another pro would have to be the roster, uh, I had to say, it, it has to be the roster, I, I don't know any other game that has a bigger roster than this, I don't, um, because this roster is so big, I don't even know what to say about it, and like I said from before, every character has their own style of fighting, so having that type of thing is just amazing to see, gotta say, um, but like I said, the downside is, you know, they only have one power, so it doesn't really, that doesn't really matter in comparison of how many characters you were really getting in this game, you know, and some people might say it's, a, it's not, you know, quantity, it's quality, but I gotta say, um, having this much characters to play as, I mean, Naruto has an entire, like, they have so much characters in, you know, the Naruto anime series, so it's not a surprise that you get so many characters here. Not only that, but it, the story mode is really good. Um, you get to interact with it, which, like I said, um, I think the um, creators of, you know, the Naruto game, is the same as the Demon Slayer one, which, um, I don't so research on my game, so I don't, I don't think I should know this, but it just feels the same, and honestly, I, I, like, I'm 100% sure it's the same creator that made this game, because, it, even in that one, you can actually, you know, feel the story, you know, you know, they all have their own, you know, super moves, which is, you know, phenomenal, they, they give it 100% each time you're doing a super move, and I know these games, went on for generations, so they will have more characters, they will, you know, have more things, so, um, of course, I know that, but it, it still is such a fun experience to see every character's moveset, their spring move, and even their one little ninjutsu, but, like I said, this game would've been really great, it's just there's so, you know, just the variety of combos. You can't really do combos, and you know I'm a combo man because I really love my combos. I like creating new ones, finding, you know, finding out new ones because that's just the fun thing. Oh, also they lose, you know, the chakra. That's pretty cool. Um, didn't really notice that, but it was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I think that's all you have to really say about this game. And I think, you know, next I'm going to be doing my Academia one versus two. And as you can see, um, I just installed the Demon Slayer DLC because um, I didn't have it because, you know, I'll talk about that on Demon Slayer. We'll move on to My Heroes 1 vs 2. Now, with My Hero Academia 1 vs 2, it's a different case. And the reason why I believe this at you so hard is because, first of all, I can do so many things in this game. Uh, the fighting is square instead of circle, which <coughs> I think the new anime games are trying to change, so I think that's good. I mean, I don't really care what button I'm pressing to fight people, I mean, it's all the same, but I'm just saying. Um, there's so many things to do in this game, so I, I literally don't know how they did this, but it's it, there's just so many. So, first of all, you got the, you know, unblockable which I don't know how he went that far, but he did. And then you got the, you know, uh, well, is that called an unblockable hit? To be honest, unbreakable, I think is what it was. Um, so then you got the, you know, obviously the triangle, which is just your normal quirk. But you can also do a tilt quirk, which is amazing. And um, then you get the, you know, normal circle quirk. And you also get a tilt circle court. And I think it, <laughs> you get like four different powers in this game. 
you got well, you, there's just so many things this game. I think the only downside to me is that you can't really use other sidekicks, but um, you know, like Naruto. But um, but there's so many ups in this game. Like you would think by you know this Deku being so overpowered, like you can't really run away from that. But through my playing experience of this game, um, I've seen so many people just dodge this thing, and with me trying, like I can just do so many of these things. They don't really go that far, obviously, as you can definitely tell. But it's 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 amazing that some characters also have these different movesets. Like I can just tap it, and it goes like that, you know. And I can also hold it, and it goes bigger. It, it's actually good. And also with the circle curve, I can hold it, it goes longer. But I can just tap it, and it won't go that you know long. And um, I like how some characters will have you know different things with um, the tilt circle, also being another unblockable. But it also gives you like this entire thing, which it. It's really cool, like, this one just breaks the guard, right? You know, but this uh, tilt one actually just does an entire animation, which Kirishima also do does, and, you know, um, I think I said this, oh no, um, I was actually going to make a, a video on Genshin Impact, and a video on Demon Slayer didn't come out, but um, I was going to tell you guys that I only have a couple of characters to choose, and I'll give you a reason why on that. Later on, it's between me and my brother. So, now, this game's loading screen as well is really phenomenal. You get to change those costumes, and unlike Naruto, where you can only change their costume and that's it, you can actually change their colors, what they have on them, like accessories, and I think that that really just puts its charm on, and it really makes this a great game. Um, at first, I wasn't going to get this game. To be honest, it went on sale, and that's the reason why I got this game because I like the show My Academia, and um, I, I I I advise you guys to really get this game because I I recommend it because to me I've had a really great experience. Well, not online, but um, just playing you know two player with my brother and you know having a fun time. Um, it's really great. The the sidekicks even get their own like. Um, I guess you'd call it a plus ultra if you actually double t if you actually double tap them, which is actually entire entirely great. They have different charge times, whether you use them as like a get out of combo or you use them just to get into a combo, you know. And it really really shines in so many things that you can do in this game. Um, I don't really see much downfalls, and that might be just because of I've been playing this game for so long. And I just really enjoy it. And yeah, I can literally do so many. I can dodge, I can then do this, and then I can, like, you know, do that. And maybe even throw one of those. No, but it, and also you have a break guard. Like, say he's blocking, you see this, this blue, like, blue bar above your health bar. You, you, you that's your block. Um, how, like, if your block is, block is gonna break. And, uh, it, it really is good, but um, it, it also starts to break as you can tell. So it's a go, you know, deplete as you are blocking, and it, it just so many things cool with this game. Um, I, I, I mean, obviously there are flaws. Like online, you can't really play. There's just so many like you know glitches with that, and um, you can't really use your sidekicks. Um, you know, it just it, it, some things are bad, but. To me, um, I think you can push past it. Unlike, you know, the one with Naruto, you, I can't really push past that one because it's just so, you know, just so not really that good because it, it does so many things bad with it. Like, yes, the roster of Naruto is huge. It's bigger than this. And to be honest, if they come up with my give me a three, you know, one just three, I would really love if they actually like. Um, first of all, I don't know how that didn't hit, and you know that could be a problem. But um, if they come up with my hair's one just three, I really want to see that it really become bigger. Like they double the characters that they've done here, because obviously I've seen my hair academia one just this one, and um, I didn't really play that because you know everyone was saying it was worse than two, so I wasn't really gonna do that obviously. But. It had the DLC, which was like a NASA, I think a Dever, stuff like that. 
Um, and uh, the DLC actually ended up in, you know, was this two, obviously, which I think was really cool that they did that, meaning that if there is a My Hero One Justice Three, they're obviously gonna add all the DLC that they put in here into that, which I think it's gonna be great. And um, they'll definitely, you know, once they get to four, probably, you know, probably not become as big as Naruto since Naruto has so many characters. My Academia doesn't. But, you know, yeah, I'd like to see that. I think we're going to be going on to Demon Slayer right now. Um, and that was all the positives. I Like I said, I don't think that there really is much negatives. Like, of course, there are some, but they're not as big as Naruto's. Okay, now we're on to Demon Slayer. Well, as you saw from the Naruto one, oh my god, what was that? I don't even know what that was. I haven't used these characters before, but as you saw in the Naruto um, clip, I just got these characters, like, I was going to say the Naruto one, I didn't really enjoy Demon Slayer, it wasn't really fun for me, I mean, I really did like it, to be honest, um, in the beginning, I was playing online matches, like, literally every day, and it was really fun to play, I gotta say, but I don't know what downed on me, which, hold up, wait, if what is that? Oh, it's just doing okay. I, I thought something else. I, I always try to go crazy, but um, nah, this game I gotta say, I don't know how much pros it's got or cons, but uh, I guess I'll start naming them off. First of all, the push block a lot of people I, I can't tell if they like it or just like it. I like it. I like this um, push block because, like, you know, like if an enemy is, like, you know, bash on you, you know, and then you just push block them, and then you kind of have to, like, dot, like, you can, like, you know, I don't really know how to dodge right now. I seriously have not played this game in so long. I, it's like, I'm, I'm so sorry you guys gotta see this. But I seriously don't know how to block. I'm literally getting every button I can because I don't know how to block. This is insane. You know, normal games, as you know, anime games go, it's the block and, you know, obviously tilting your stick, but I guess that's just not the case here. Is there a bl Hold up. Am I mistaken? What is this? <laughs> oh my, what? Okay, so it's, oh. I'm sorry for that, but it's all, and, <laughs> and, what I'm gonna say is that you can, you know, push block, and then I guess do this, and, you know, start attacking them, especially if you're a demon, you have more long range attacks, so, you know, that's just part of his combo, which is actually surprising that he has range attacks in his combo, he just uses many meters for that, but, um, um, yeah, I, I think it's really good and um, that, you know, this one has a lot of powers too, just like my Academia. I, the demons have more power, so I don't know if, you know, I think you get your tilt, tri tilt triangle and, yeah, you get triangle and your tilt triangle. I think that's it, and the demons um, then get the R1 and, and then a tilt R1. Gotta say, I don't know, his armor move should be the. Oh, and. Oh, sorry, you also get a, a. Oh, no. For the demon gauge, you get. You have to use L1. But for R1 being block and pressing triangle, you get one. So, you know, uh, they, you know, they give a lot of combo, you know, range here too, so. And does that like burst on him? Cool. Um, but yeah, the uh, one very good pro I gotta say is the free DLC. I haven't seen an anime game do that before. I mean, I don't think I've seen an actual game do that before. But it was actually pretty cool. I don't think they'll be doing that for you know if they do a do and say you know two. Because that's just like seriously you know. It's, I think either they're overconfident on them getting money, more money on, you know, the actual thing here, 
because I don't know why they would put it as free, but it's it's cool nonetheless. And a pro, I have to say, I mean a con, I have to say, would be the um, this boost, this boost thing. You see this? I hate this, especially if they're on surge. I hate it so much because say I'm just you know winning. I'm winning an entire game right now. A kid can just use a surge and just entirely annihilate me. Like, I'll show you right now. The amount of damage this thing does is... Wait, do I have it on max? No, it's right here. Um, the fact that a kid can just come over to me, boost, use a surge, you're unblockable, so if the kid, if, if I try and fight him, and not only am I going to die, but I'm going to literally not survive this entire thing. He's going to boost, going to get him right there, going to pop him another bomb right there. Oh, he healed. But, like, the fact that I can just entirely annihilate a kid with a surge is amazing. Well, not amazing, it's just terrible. Because um, I hate that when, I hate that when that happens. Also, you know, your super moves are entirely insane. They always give... Their best as well as Naruto does. Like I said, they're made by the same creator. You know, this is um, actually pretty weird, but I don't even know what that was. But yeah, um, um, like for the most of these games, I watch the anime, so I understand the characters, and you know, I understand what's going on here. Um, so that's why I, I probably really like these games because they, I can actually, I actually know what I'm, you know, doing with these ones. Um, so, if you don't know, Demon Slayer has this really big flaw. And, and I don't know if it's there. It has this delay, and I don't know why. Like the Naruto games, I don't think have it, and I don't think my hair is going to exercise it. But it it has this random delay, and I don't like I said, I really don't know why because I haven't seen a game do this before. And um, but yeah, I like the contrast between demons and um, you know demon slayers because demon slayers can just you know push in and uh, defeat a demon, right? But a demon can also just you know stay long ranged and you know fight from you know afar which is actually pretty cool because you know it's it's just the you know absolute best you can just do your entire combo and kill a guy because he messed up ooh that would have been cool but um but yeah it, it really this game really shines and I'm hoping that they make another one First of all, did I really just hit him from over there? I don't know what's going on. This guy isn't insane. I remember waiting for Kaza. I think he came out in November. But did I just kill him? <laughs> what the freak? Okay, anyways. Oh, uh, that's insane. At least I think it's not. Uh, this made by the character creators because of that but yeah that was uh, weird it, it I didn't see that happening wait, you know I'll, I'll see him later on so did he get hit by that thing oh, anyway, look at, <laughs> I'm sorry for that um what I gotta say is that it's a good game it doesn't have that much characters which is a very bad downside but the, what makes up for it is that it's giving free DLC, and uh, you know, My Hero Demon just came out with Present Mike. It's not free; you can't get it for free. So you, you gotta spend money for it. And you know, if you know, if you don't really have money at that time, it's it's not like you could actually get it right there and then. So you just gotta go watch a person do it. But it's not as fun as you know actually playing it with yourself because you know playing with it with yourself, you can actually see what to do. Like. Oh, is this character good? You can never really know what's good by what a person says, you know? You gotta actually, you know, do your own thing. 
but yeah, um, as I was saying, Demon Slayer is a good game. It's the first game in the series, so I, I like I don't know if they're going to do another one, but it's just the first game in the, in the series, so I, I I give it like I give it a pass because if it was like a like you know Demon Slayer Four, I would not give this a pass. This would be the worst game of the year of that year, and I would not you know. I wouldn't give up on it because, you know, it's just dog crap. Why would I do it? But since this is, you know, since this is, uh, you know, like, you know, it's just the first one. So they can get better over the years and um, just like Naruto, just like my academia. Like I said, the first one in my academia wasn't really that good. This was Demon Slayer and I think I'm going to end it here. Um, I have more anime games to show, you know, Jump Force, you know, Jump Force is ending, so I wanted to get that one in, and, um, but I'm ending it here because I don't want the video to take too long, um, subscribe, subscribe if you want to, I really, I really like to see when people subscribe when they actually like a video, not when some guy says it because his grandma's dying, I want to see people actually subscribing. Um, and, you know, when I don't really get subscribes, um, I don't really, really, it doesn't really mind me because I kind of do the same thing with YouTubers. Like, say I'm enjoying a video, I don't really, you know, just think, oh, subscribe to the guy. So, it's fine. I, it really doesn't matter. Just, if you enjoy it, subscribe. If you don't, don't. But, what I recommend is having a good day. Peace out.